depression, cyberbullying, body image. Those are just a few of the serious issues facing teenagers these days. And although extracting information from a teen may prove difficult at times, one local company has created a unique platform for teens to have their voices heard through the arts. The expressions challenged by Walgreens, one of Chicago's very own. It's a title Reflections, and the entire idea behind it was that a lot of women look in the mirror and they'll think negative things about each other, have a negative perception on their own body. It was a painting of a girl, and she was laying down, kind of like crying, tears flowing out of her eyes. The tears were turning into, like, code. Chicago area teens Anna Thompson and Natalia Granatowski have something in common. Both have experienced the pressures of being a teen in this modern age, and both are previous winners of the Walgreens Expressions Challenge, a platform geared toward helping Chicago area high school students navigate these trying years by expressing themselves through art. That piece was um, like focused on um, self-confidence um, was the category I chose from expressions. Thompson took the second place prize in the visual arts category in 2018 as a high school junior. Grantowski won first place with her piece, Cyberbullying, a topic at the forefront of teen minds everywhere. It kind of represented um, how like there's people on the other side of like screens. Walgreens Community Affairs Director John Gremmer says the Walgreens Expressions Challenge was launched in 2009 as an HIV AIDS outreach and awareness campaign, but the focus quickly turned to a host of other topics. And it really morphed really quickly because students brought up things like abstinence, uh, body image, and really quickly after that it became Expressions, which really is designed to help young people articulate the issues that are impacting them. From the pressures of social media to gender identity, students pick a topic, then submit their entry in the form of visual artwork, multimedia, or written spoken word. The winner receives a cash prize of $2,000, and to date, Walgreens has awarded more than $350,000 in winnings. Grimmer says having a platform in which young people can be heard is beneficial for all participants. Hopefully as students talk about it, as they express it, It'll be a catalyst for them to talk to others and to work and to deal with it. The challenge kind of helped me to kind of like ground myself and like communicate in a way that's different from like just saying something flat out. Throughout the years, countless students have taken part in the Expressions Challenge. The program has been so successful. This year, Walgreens opened it up to high schoolers nationwide, adding a COVID-19 category and specialty award. I think this year especially we're going to have a lot on isolation and mental health. And already the submissions are pouring in with expressions of pandemic grief, frustration and isolation. One piece of artwork I saw was a person hugging the air and no one was there. And he says students no doubt have had an incredibly tough year, but he encourages young people to continue sharing their voices. No matter what year it is, no matter what topic it is, it's finding your authentic voice, finding a great way to express it, and then using that to create positive impact in your community. Expressions challenged by Walgreens, it's one of Chicago's very own.